Hello and welcome to Brilliance Today, where individuals let their brilliance shine through their stories, expertise and philosophy, because they're on a mission to make a difference and leave a legacy. Introducing Brenda Dempsey, publisher, speaker and TV presenter. Get ready to be inspired. Hello and welcome to Brilliance Today. My name is Brenda Dempsey and do you know what? Behind a great woman lies another great woman. And this is a Voice of Women series and I have amazing women with us today. A brilliant light in her community, in her world, where she radiates her brilliance. And who am I talking about? I'm talking about Christy Amalu JP. Hi, Christy. Hello, 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 Brenda. Thank you so much for having me this wonderful, sunny, beautiful afternoon. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. So let's get right on down to it, Christy. First of all, just introduce yourself, who you are, and tell us what you're passionate about. Wow. Uh, like you've rightly said, I'm Christy Amalu JP. I am a nurse by profession and currently I work as a senior clinical nurse advisor for the NHS. Um, I'm a mother. I have five children. I am um, currently the uh, president of my um, local church, women in my local church. And also I am the past president, uh, past women development officer for the Nigerian community in Milton Kings, which I served for two tenors. And uh, also I was the uh, past uh, women coordinator for the Igbo Union, Milton Keynes. Igbo Union is the tribe that I came for. I served them for two terms as well. And uh, also uh, was the um, uh, past uh, public relation director for the Nigerian in diaspora, you know, which wow. is in London. <laughs> I am an author. I have authored four books. And uh, also I have co-authored a book, uh, the book of inspiration by women for women. And uh, I am in this wonderful, wonderful, the full project now, uh, you know, joining my voice with other inspirational women out there, you know, to produce this uh, voice of women, voices of women, you know, uh, forwarded and, uh, you know, by our wonderful uh, Brenda Denzi. So I am an agent of change. I'm an agent of empowerment. I'm a champion for women development and leadership. So in a nutshell, this is who I am. Wow, but actually, you missed something out. <laughs> now, well, you're, you, I mean, there's so much to you, isn't there? You're just phen phenomenal. You're a powerhouse. <laughs> but you forgot about your well woman. I'm telling you, that's honestly, that's one thing I forgot. But please, let me just go there. I am the CEO and founder of a well woman network UK which is an organization that we started in 2013. Uh, next month will be 11 years, you know, we've been uh, uh, doing a well woman. So a well woman is an organization which empowers women to enhance their health, overcome hardship, hunger and vulnerabilities. And we wow. envision a world where the most vulnerable person will have the power to pick themselves out of poverty and live a healthier, vital life for themselves, their family, their community, in fact, the nation now and for the future. So, um, and also in a well woman, you know, a lot of things are, are encapsulated. We have more than 100 volunteers and uh, also uh, have women, both locally in Milton Keynes, nationally in the UK and internationally. So um, we have, um, you know, done a lot of charitable uh, work um, abroad, like in Kenya, in Nigeria, in um, Ghana, you know, we have done Feed the Hungry in the Streets because we believe, you know, when people are hungry, you know, they tend to be imbalanced, they tend to be, you know, their health is depleted and all that. And also we have done our Stepping Out in Style project, which is a project that is meant to deliver 
you know, use school shoes and bags to children in rural communities who go to school on bare feet. And you wow. all know, and you all know what happens when a child is walking on a, a bare feet. Uh, some the things can, you know, uh, puncture their feet. From there, they can get infected they can get tetanus you know their lives can be cut short and these children are our future leaders you know so we kind of like recycle these issues and bags telling mothers of uh, school age uh, that have children of school age that all those shoes that they want to throw into the bin all those school uniforms the bin will not thank them but they can give them to us we package them and send them to children in rural Africa and then um, wow. you know, wow. bring smiles to their faces, you know. Uh, so, amazing. Yeah. Oh my goodness, everybody, you can tell this is a woman <laughs> who's passionate. This is a woman on a mission. In fact, I think she's on about 100 missions. Um, <laughs> amazing. I don't know how she does everything that she does. I've seen her in action. And the thing is, she's got such gentle, high vibrational energy. She's quite the opposite of me. I'm all like, woo, wound up. But um, Christy is beautiful, graceful, elegant, and um, she does a power of work for thank her you. community. So thanks thank very you. much. So this book's all about leadership. And I think, you know, it's safe to say we can call you a leader. So tell me what you believe leadership to is. Uh, actually, um, leadership is influence. Just like um, uh, John Maxwell said it, he said, if you are leading people and nobody is following, you're just taking a walk. So it's all about influence. It's all about, you know, using what we have, our passion, you know, to empower our generation, to give them the best so as, you know, they can be empowered as well to empower other people. So this is all about leadership. It's not about holding what we have. It's not about, you know, giving excuses, um, a thousand and one reasons why we can't do anything. So it's about just coming out there, even against all us, embracing those challenges and then doing something, you know, that would in gen generate, um, you know, um, a, a continuous encouragement, continuous upliftment, continuous motivation, to other people that are looking on to us. So for me, that's what I see as a uh, leadership. Wow, wow. So tell me, um, what makes you so passionate and driven to support women? Um, one, I will say I'm a woman. And, um, you know, God created us in a special way. You know, God has given us womb. You know, we having womb is to have, all, you know, we have a lot of things. So women, we know how to carry a lot of burden and we hide them under our foundation and still smile, you know, uh, put up that uh, smiling face, you know, to show people that yeah. things are going on well. So I know what I, I have gone through as a child, you know, that was uh, born in rural Africa, you know, all the challenges I faced to get to where I am. And then when I go to where I am, um, I was um, a, as a minister in the church, and uh, uh, leading the women in the local church, I hear a lot, you know, people call me, they have one challenge or the other. And, um, you know, so I feel, you know, a time has come, you know, for someone to rise at this time, you know, to be an answer to another person's cry, to be an answer to someone's uh, questions, to, you know, be a, a shoulder people can lean on. So that's why, you know, uh, from my personal experience and then all those things that I hear from people, I said, no, I have to rise up at this time and make a difference in the world of women who are, you know, attached to me or who I can reach, you know, with my voice, uh, with everything that I have. So that's that's my story. Wow, wow. And you're right, you know, women, you know, there's nothing like a woman, isn't there? Not? She is the mother of of the world, really. And um with that nurturing nature. And it's just it it's just something inside. It's that light, it's that, you know, wanting the best for others. It's about putting herself out there. It's about sacrifice um, for other people. And as you say, 
sometimes you don't feel like it, but you know what? When you think of who you're serving, you think, who am I to complain? Let's get on and make a difference because some people's lives are extremely challenging. So as a, a leader, what do you think are some of the obstacles that female leaders face in today's world? Um, some of the obstacles are, um, you know, sometimes uh, depending on uh, belief system and cultural uh, background, um, some people believe that women are to be seen and not heard. So mm -hmm. women don't women don't even think they have a voice, you know. So uh, growing up with that notion in some of our women, you know, so they believe, oh, what what can I give? Who am I? You know, so they don't even value what they have. So the fear of being accepted, the fear of, um, you know, making mistakes. Some even have things to give, but they are so afraid. What if nobody accepts me? What if I do it and it fails? What if, what if, what if? You know, all those pro procrastinations. So I, I always want women to turn things around, to say, what if I do it and it comes better? You know, what, if, you know, so instead of thinking of what if uh, it doesn't work, think of what if it works? You know, mm. the kind of life you will change, the kind of uh, people that will benefit from it. So those are part of the, um, you know, uh, problems that women face, the challenges. Also in childbearing as well. You know, majority of us women, we spend our productive years raising children. Once you have those babies, you haven't stopped. You know, you carry on and nurture them through nursery, primary school and all that. And even when they grow up, you're still thinking about them. So we keep saying, yes, when they grow, once my children grow up, I will do this. If they grow up, I will do that. But if you keep waiting for those, you can't do anything because they will never grow. As long as you are concerned, there are still babies in our hands. You know, even mm. our adolescents, once our adolescents step out, we're thinking, where are they? What's happening to them? You know, who are, you know, you're just worried every step of the way. Yes, so, I know. You, yeah, you, so, as a mother, your children are still babies, even when they're 40. <laughs> yeah, even when they are 40, they're still babies, you see. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. So, Christy, mm -hmm. tell me why you said yes to being part of Voices of Women. The reason why I said yes, one, is because I have a powerhouse behind, you know, what, what I have done, my saying yes. I want to say a big thank you to you, Brenda you know, for uh, believing in me, uh, for uh, thinking, you know, even ahead of myself, because when you approach me, I have several reasons to say no, but those reasons, as far as you're concerned, uh, you, you're not bothered about them, you know, and I can see those things we have without them. So <laughs> I, I said yes, because my story is not your story and your story is not mine. So I be believe once I come with my story and you come with yours, another inspirational women out there come with their voices and we put it together. We'll be able to make the best of our world. We'll be able to impact people around us. So that's yeah. why I said yes. Thank you. And so I, much. I, absolutely. And I, I don't take no for an answer. You know that, don't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a dog with yeah. a bone. If I think yeah. there's a voice that needs to be heard, <laughs> you're 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 doing it, you know. We'll find a way. Um, it's not coercion, by the way, folks. <laughs> there's no coercion. Um, there's just love and encouragement. That's what um that's what I use to get people to say yes, you know, because it's about them, it's about what yes. they can do, just exactly as you said. Your story, you know, we shouldn't hold on to our stories, they're there to empower other people, they're there for other people to learn because we've learned from them, so their um stories are are uh, are meant to be shared. They're not meant to be. Um, they're shared and heard, as I say. They're not meant to be kept inside, locked away. Um, but you're right. Too many women fear um that they'll not be um accepted, that they'll be rejected. That you know they they don't want that, and it all goes back to Maslow's hierarchy of needs and things. But anyway, I'm so glad that you're in Voices of Women. I know this is a bit short. This um a 
podcast today because we're up against the time and um, unfortunately we, we got cut short earlier and we had to come back but anyway Christy I'm sure you'll be back for more conversation some deeper yeah. conversation but we can definitely see that you are a powerhouse and can't wait to have the book out there so everybody can read the, um, your story how can people get in touch with you Christy Yes, I've got my number. If um you are able to call and you're in UK, um 07984178807. Please call me because these voices of women need to get to your hands through me. And also you can go to my website um www.awellwomannetwork.com. All right. Or even on Facebook, you know, I'm there as Christy Amalu JP. Uh, and on um, Facebook as well, our group uh, Facebook name is um, A Well Woman Foundation. Please go there and inbox me and let's take these voices to the next generation. Thank you. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> well, Christy, thanks very much for your time. <laughs> and you. um, as I said, we'll have you back. And everybody, you. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you felt that energy and that powerhouse that is Christy Amalu JP. So until the next time, this is Brenda saying, be brilliant. Much love. And Thank you. Ciao, ciao. Thank you, Brenda. That's it for this episode of Brilliance Today. Thank you so much for listening. Please don't forget to subscribe and leave a review. For more information or to contact Book Brilliance Publishing, visit bookbrilliancepublishing.com. And remember, do different. Be brilliant.